Here's what happened in the Ram qualifying races at round two of the FIM Motocross World Championship, the MXGP of Spain at Intu, Xanadu, Arroyo Molinos. The MX2 race, Sasha Kunin led the way from Simon Langenfelder and Kaido Wolf with Jack Chambers on the Kawasaki just behind, but a couple of corners later, and the championship leader, De Wolf, had moved from third to second and into first within the first couple of corners, and from there, no one really saw which way he went. Mark Antoine Rossi followed his Red Bull Gas Gas teammate into third place at the expense of the 19 of Sasha Kunin, who then had this mistake here, was lucky to stay up as he continued to battle with the 28 of Rossi. One of the uh, contentious moments, shall we say, up the inside, Quentin Prunier of the defending champion, Andrea Adamo. He lost out there, but they both lost out when Everts went from seventh to fifth by the end of the straight. Everts then found his way under the rear wheel of his teammate, number 19, Sasha Kunin, to move up into fourth place around about the halfway mark. And then Kunin battling with Adamo. Adamo eventually went through him, which was the first of three passes that pushed Sasha Kunin from fourth down to seventh place. Adamo came through, Everts had already gone through, and Lucas Kunin here nipped up the inside of him right there. Liam Everts then went after Marc Antoine Rossi, and with four laps to go, the Belgian was passed. And the Frenchman could only sit and watch. Lucas Kunin then found himself on the rear wheel of Andrea Adamo and made this pass to move into fourth with two laps to go. And then Adamo got caught and passed by the 11 on the Monster Energy Triumph of Mikkel Harp as Harp moved into fifth on the final lap. No one was a match though for Kai De Wolf who went on to take the Ram qualifying race. His first of the season, Langenfelder was second, Ebert's third, Kunin and Harp rounded out the top five. Here's how the points were awarded then. Tenth for the win for De Wolf, Langenfelder second, picking up nine, then Ebert's Kunin, Harp, Adamo, Rossi, Sasha Kunin with Thibaut Benestant and uh, Andrea Bonacorsi picking up ninth and tenth and the final points. And in terms of the championship, De Wolf now extends his lead to seven over Langenfelder, Harp third, up to third with Benestant and Adamo rounding out the top five. In the MXGP Ram qualifying race, look over to the right-hand side. Prado took full advantage of his gate pick. Jeffrey Hurlings, though, caught the rear wheel of possibly Roman Fevre in the mix. And he ended up right at the back, but somehow managed to muscle his way to 12th through the first couple of corners. In second position was Maxim Renault. Then a stumble there for the 24 of Horgmo as the 2.59. Of Glenn Koldenoff looked to find his way through. Koldenoff then got caught by Geiser as he moved into third place on his HRC. But in fourth, watch the 24 here of Kevin Hogmo. He gets it wrong. Gio hits him. Jonas hits the bike. Hogmo did not finish the race, although he was okay. Valentin Gio eventually came home in seventh. Jonas, 11th. Up front, though, and look at the lead. And the confidence of the number one, Jorge Prado, in front of his home fans here this weekend. Jeffrey Hurlings at this moment, as he was closing in on Jeremy C, where those two were fighting over fifth place. We'd have to wait a few more laps to get the better of the Kawasaki rider. Meanwhile, Valentin Guillo did find his way past Calvin Villanren to move into seventh. That's where he would finish. But no one challenged Prado, who was having so much fun out on the racetrack. Fevre, after that poor start, got the better of the 5.17 of Isaac Gifting as he moved up into ninth. He would eventually find his way into eighth late on in the race. Hurlings, two passes in two laps on the same part of the racetrack. The first on Jeremy Seward, the second on Koldenoff as he moved from sixth to fifth to fourth in consecutive laps. That's where Hurlings would stay at the finish. This was the final pass of the race for Roman Fevre, picking off Calvin Villanren to move into eight. Villanren would come home night ahead of Isaac Gifting. But it was a sensational win for Jorge Prado, comfortably winning over Tim Geiser by 13 seconds from Maxim Renault, Jeffrey Hurlings, and Glenn Koldenoff. And once again, here's how the points 
were awarded. Prado picking up the full 10. Geiser with nine. Renault eight. Hurling seven. Colton off Seawet gear. And Fevre running out the top eight. Fevre picking up three points. And then Melandre and Gifting ninth and tenth for those two. And at the top of the championship, Prado now extends his lead by a point over Geiser. Fevre is third, but he loses the position. Renault and Jonas ran out the top five. <laughs>